story of a mother with a broken heart. She was diagnosed with congestive heart failure last year and now relies on a mechanical heart. Tonight she shares her story with hopes of raising awareness and also hopes of raising money for her mounting medical bills. CBS Atlanta's Michelle Marsh has her story. Stephanie, Monica McFarland says she doesn't have a family history of heart disease, so it wasn't on her radar until one day she couldn't breathe and had to be rushed to the emergency room. My heart was racing. It was like 280-something beats per minute. Frightening moments for Monica McFarlane. There's viral cardiomyopathy, which a virus attacks your heart, and that's what happened to me. Viral cardiomyopathy is a disease that weakens the heart muscle. Last year, McFarlane underwent open heart surgery. Doctors put in a mechanical heart. These are the batteries. She relies on this device to pump her blood 24-7. I don't have a pulse, which I found find oh, wow. very interesting. I have to plug up every night to electricity. I have a wire that's coming out of my stomach. No. <laughs> that's what my kids call me, the super, the super mom. McFarland says her insurance doesn't cover all of her medical bills and the cost is adding up. My heart in a bag. Her friends have organized a fundraiser to help. We are extremely blessed to have friends and family and people that give, giving hearts. <laughs> Now, eventually, McFarlane will need a heart transplant to help offset these expenses. McFarlane and her friends turn to the National Foundation for Transplants. They're hosting a fundraising event tomorrow where they hope to raise $25,000 for her. For more information about the event and donations, visit our website, cbsatlanta.com. Live in the studio, Michelle Marsh, CBS Atlanta News. A Stockbridge woman is depending on her friends and family to help keep her alive. Her life was saved with a mechanical heart. Now the community is raising money to pay for the machine that lets her live. CBS Atlanta's Sonia Mogi is live in Marietta. And Sonia, I understand her friends are really honoring her tonight. They are, and when you see this woman that they're honoring, you will be taken by surprise like I was. She looks very, very healthy, but her life is depending on this very expensive machine to keep her alive. Monica McFarland was a healthy mother until she got sick last year. She was diagnosed with viral cardiomyopathy, a disease that weakens the heart muscle. Doctors said McFarland needed a new heart, but that her body wouldn't be able to handle a heart transplant. After being in and out of the hospital so many times from January to March, um, we had done multiple things to try to get my heart um, to heal. Her family decided that her best option for survival was to get a mechanical heart surgically placed inside of her. It's powered by a battery-operated device that's connected to her heart with a wire that runs through her abdomen. She knew this was not only the best option for saving her life, but the only option at that point in time. It's also a very pricey option, and insurance doesn't cover all of the medical bills that are quickly adding up. Now McFarland's friends like Cynthia Bateman are holding a fundraiser in hopes of helping her pay for the tens of thousands of dollars a month it costs to keep this machine going, some of which insurance doesn't pay for. She's also concerned um, in using this as an opportunity to spread the word. Um, if a 37-year-old marathon runner who's healthy and lives a healthy lifestyle can fall sick from this type of disease, anybody can. Now, people have already started showing up for this fundraiser, braving the rain. It starts at 7 o'clock tonight. You do have to pay a fee to get in. But you can also donate however much money you want to the family directly. Live in Marietta, Sonia Mogi, CBS Atlanta News. New details on the story we first brought you at 6. A community comes together to help a local mother. She's alive today thanks to a mechanical heart, but her family is struggling to pay for it. So her friends stepped in to help. CBS Atlanta Sonia Mogi is live in Marietta where a fundraiser just finished up. And Sonia, was she even able to attend? Actually, she was, and she looked very healthy here today in her ball gown, all dressed up. She said she wanted to personally thank everyone who's donated money to help her mechanical heart keep pumping and keeping her alive. Monica McFarlane dazzled in a hot pink ball gown at the fundraiser to raise money for her medical bills tonight. But the little black backpack she wore was more than an accessory. This is my heart that I carry on my back. And um, it's all my 
my medical equipment. But I have two young boys, so I have to have my hands free. A year ago, the 37-year-old's world was turned upside down when her heart started to fail because of a rare virus. Doctors said her body wouldn't do well with a heart transplant, so this mechanical heart became her only option to survive to see her little boys grow up. I would not be alive. So I'm blessed. I count my blessings every day. But the mechanical heart does come with a price. It costs her family thousands of dollars a month in upkeep. That's why friends organized this event, which they say is more than just a fundraiser. She's also concerned um, in using this as an opportunity to spread the word. Um, if a 37-year-old marathon runner who's healthy and lives a healthy lifestyle can fall sick from this type of disease, anybody can. Now, the goal was to raise about $25,000. Tonight, they raised $15,000, and over $30,000 have been raised total. So they're taking that extra money to donate to other people who are trying to get heart transplants. In Marietta, Sonia Mogi, CBS Atlanta News.